Hello all, and just a quick update on uh, the COVID-19 situation. Oklahoma City's mayor, David Holt, will be amending the COVID-19 State of Emergency Proclamation for Oklahoma City to explicitly implement shelter in place from 11.59 p.m. on March 28th through April 16th. Um, this action was recommended by the mayor's COVID-19 Public Health Advisory Group and was coordinated with the city of Tulsa for simultaneous implementation in both cities. Um, so Oklahoma City and Tulsa are now joining 43 of the nation's other 50 largest cities in explicitly issuing shelter in place orders. Um, the amended proclamation also incorporates the governor's previous closures, providing for local enforcement of those measures. Um, there's a quote from Mayor Hold it says our legal teams in Tulsa and Oklahoma City have been reviewing Governor Stitt's March 24 executive orders and believes they are functionally the same as shelter in place orders in other American cities. However, because that terminology was not used, there has been concern that the effectiveness of the executive orders in reducing COVID-19 transmission uh, has been affected. In consultation with our public health advisors in both cities, Mayor G.T. Bynum and I, Mayor Holt, feel it is best to remove any confusion and explicitly state what is already largely true. We want to leave no doubt with our residents that the safest course of action during this public health crisis is to stay home unless you are engaged in an essential job, essential errand, or outdoor physical activity. As I have said this week, in a free society, the reality is the, that only you can truly keep yourself sheltered in place and safe from COVID-19, Mayor Holt continued. The public health experts and I are asking you to be our partners in this effort. Let's look at the experiences of other cities and let us remember that we are literally saving lives. Let's stay home and be well. So what does shelter in place mean for you? Um, this emergency order is going to be effective as I said from 11:59 p.m. tonight through April 16th in general it you it's simple you stay at home um, exceptions are you know going out to shop for groceries your, your medicine your supplies and during those times still keep your social distance staying at least six feet away from other people um, you can go for takeout drive-through you know go to the doctor those other essential needs you can exercise outside including you know sidewalks trails i did a lot of walking in neighborhoods today um but playgrounds are closed you uh, don't want to be using playground equipment because that can be a source of transmission for the virus um, city-owned golf courses fitness courses dog parks recreation centers and sports courts are closed you can go to work on an essential job you can also do business with someone working in an essential job um, these jobs are defined by the state of Oklahoma using a federal list and one provided by the governor. Um, they do have a website you can go to that is okcommerce.gov slash COVID-19 if you need that list. You can still go drive, bike, walk, um, and take transit. You will obviously want to um, follow your social distancing and um, hygiene precautions on all transit. Um, you don't need a special ID or permit. You can work from home. If you work in a job defined by the state as non-essential, I have been working from home full-time um, since this began. Um, staff are allowed on site even at closed non-essential businesses for basic tasks like maintenance and security. Um, you can go out and check on someone in need. You can donate at blood drives, volunteer at food banks, participate in other disaster response activities. Staff at, can be at faith-based sites to record or broadcast services. Please don't have your services open to the public. Um, stay six feet away from others for your safety and theirs. Wash your hands um, for a full 20 seconds with soap and water. Um, it is important to note that a violation of the proclamation terms would be a class B misdemeanor under city code, punishable by up to six months in jail and a fine up to $750. So you definitely don't want that. So we'll work to keep you up to date on changes as they happen, but please everybody um, shelter in place and keep your social distance and do what you need to to protect your mental health and just please reach out to 
me if you have any questions or um, concerns. Uh, we will start getting those Q&A videos out to you. Um, please follow the YouTube channel so that you can see those when they come through and um, so that we can all stay connected and be in this together.